Hey, isn't it so frustrating when your stovetop won't light? Well, I agree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the easiest way to diagnose stovetop issues. Okay, let's get started. I have a Furion propane stove. And when we're diagnosing this, the first thing we're going to want to check is to make sure that we are having propane into the stove. So first things first, let's start these. And just for the sake of trying this, these two start, so we'll turn them off. Let's say this one won't start. Now let's say I have this on and I'm hitting this igniter and it's not starting. Quickest thing to do is to check to see if you've got propane going to it. So what you'll do is you'll turn this on, use a lighter, and it lights. That tells you that this problem that we're dealing with is from the stovetop itself, not the propane. If you're having an issue with propane, you are going to address the lines on the outside. We'll cover that in a different video. But for the sake of this video, we're going to assume that this one is not working. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the top of this, set it aside, and then this pops out just like that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it aside. Okay. So, one of the areas that there could be an issue is the igniter. Let's say that none of these burners are working and you're not getting any sparks. It's probably going to be an igniter issue. So, turn the power off to this, if you have power to yours. You'll want to pull that knob off. I have LED lights, so there's a little bit extra here, but there'll be just two screws right there. You'll remove those screws. Then you'll go to the other side. And this is your igniter piece right there. You'll unplug each of these, one, two, three, four. And then once that's removed, you can pull this piece out and replace it. There will be a part number on that or in your owner's manual. And if there is not an issue with the igniter switch, your issue could be two things. It could be these wires that connect to the igniter or the burner itself. This is a newer stove, so these wires are, are newer and they have a really good solid outer sheath protecting them. Over time, this can break down and there could be little interruptions, the sheathing could basically be worn down, there can be exposed wires in there. That will cause this area to spark, if that's where the interruption is, instead of up here. So the way to fix this is to either replace the wire, which you would refer to your owner's manual for this exact piece, and then unplug the wire from the igniter, take it out of the burner itself, and replace this wire. Or you can use heat rated heat shrink tubing, go over top of this, heat it up so it shrinks down, or just electrical tape is a quick fix, but essentially these will need to be replaced if they are worn down. If the burner itself is the issue, you will need to replace the burner. You'll take Phillips screwdriver, and there's two screws right there. Take that off, remove this piece, and replace it with the new burner. Once you've replaced these things, this should work appropriately. The most common issue causing one of these burners not to work is going to be worn down wires. That's the most common fix, and it can be fixed with electrical tape or just replacement of these wires. Second most common is going to be the actual igniter is bad and needs to be replaced. And then the third least common is going to be an entire burner repair. So once this is done and all burners are working, put it back together and get on with your cooking. If you're having problems with the inside of the oven staying lit, make sure to watch my video on how to address oven issues involving the thermocouple. Okay, now that it's time to put this back together, you will take this piece here and you've got two clips right here that need to go this way. So what I do is I put them in first like that so they're in their grooves 
Then I drop this down, push it down, get that out of the way. That's nice and secured. So then all I have to do is secure my grate. And this is ready to use.